Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a road trip essentials haul with all of the snacks and drinks and clothes and things that I do to keep the kids entertained on a 16 hour long road trip. Hi guys, all right. Today I am doing a, I would say road trip essentials video. I'm gonna show you everything that I have gathered for our road trip that is coming up. We go on vacation starting on Friday. So we're going to my lake cabin for the weekend. It's my grandparents' lake cabin, our family cabin. Gonna go there for the weekend and then we come back on Sunday to basically go to bed, wake up the next morning, finish our packing, and then on Monday night at 8 p.m. we are leaving. It is a 16 hour drive to where we are going in Colorado and it is going to be easier at night. We have three adults. We have myself, Mike, and my sister, so we're going to drive in shifts. That way the kids can sleep overnight. It just works out a lot better that way. We've done this drive, well, to Denver, we've done the drive several times, and now with kids, we've found that it's just easier to do at night when they're sleeping. It's less entertaining. It's a little bit harder for us adults, but we just sleep in shifts. So anyways, that's my advice as far as driving with like smaller kids. I have a two-year-old and a five and a half-year-old if you guys are newer to my channel. So I just wanna share everything that we do to make it easier to travel with small children um, in a vehicle for a long period of time. If you guys are curious as to what we travel with for um, like airplane trips, if we're taking a plane to where we're going, I do have a video from back when we went to Florida, which I will link up here for you guys. Um, you can take a peek at that. Um, flying can be a lot easier. When Riker was, he was just about one the last time we flew with them and that was easier just because he was a lap, lap infant and he could like fall asleep on my lap. I will have an updated video this December when we go on our next Florida trip um, to show you guys like what I do for bringing a two year old on a plane. Five and a half year old, easier. Two year old, a little bit harder. Let me show you what we do though for our road trip and show you everything that I've gotten so far. Okay, I have you um, on my Starbucks cup. <laughs> I have no tripod on me right now. Hang on, mama is thirsty. So I was sharing on Instagram this week that I have a lot of appointments to get ready for the wedding. I have a hair appointment to touch up my roots and then I also have an appointment um, to go get a facial um, and then I have an appointment to go get my lashes refilled and touched up so that they're nice and fresh. So I didn't have time to go and get my nails done and I don't like painting my nails because they never last more than a couple of days and I do like the sticker, like the stick on um, nail things, but again, like there's like, I don't know, this, did they just get like really nasty underneath sometimes? Um, and then I do have a gel, gel, a gel, a gel nail polish kit. I like it, but it, they, it, they still just peel off within a week. And right now is my only time to get my nails done um, at home. So I went ahead and purchased a dip nail set from Sally Beauty Supply. If I can find the stuff online, I will link it down below for you guys. I got the Quick Dip brand um, and there is a kit, but I just purchased everything separately. Um, there is a step one nail primer, a step two, um, which this is the nail base and the top coat. And then I also um, purchased the step three, which is the gel activator. And then I purchased two colors. I got the fresh cotton and I got um, barely there. And this is what my nails look like they're so pretty i got my cuticles a little bit because the acrylic kind of got onto my um onto my like cuticles but so they're kind of torn up but i got those along with a bunch of nail files so that i could file everything down i don't have an electric filer my mom does and it's awesome but there was nothing for me to use here. So I just got some cheaper nail files. Probably took me about an hour all in all. And I love them and they're going to last forever. I'm really loving them so far. I'll keep you guys updated. But like I said, this is the only time that I had to get my nails done. And I know that they're going to last now because they're dip nails. I know that they're going to last for up until the wedding. And the wedding itself isn't until July 9th. So, um, I grabbed some shoes for Kai. Um, 
to go with her flower girl dress because she is the flower girl. Um, and then if Riker cooperates, he's you know going to be the ring bearer, if you will. Um, but I got these shoes for Kai. These were the ones that um, my sister-in-law really wanted her to wear. They're so cute. They have like a ribbon that ties. They were like $28.99 on Amazon. I highly recommend them. This is the brand. I'll leave these linked down below for you guys if you are planning for a wedding yourself. They're so cute. So let's move into the rest of the things because there is a lot and this is gonna be a long video. So next up, yes, I need to clean my house before I leave. I've got like dishes and everything everywhere, but I wanted to get a new perfume. Um, I even went to Ulta and like smelled all the perfumes, but I wasn't loving anything besides my <laughs> my go-to Dolce Gabbana light blue. I feel like this is such a yummy summer scent. It's just, it's light, it's clean, but it's very like, I don't wanna say like provocative, but you know what I mean? It's like one of my favorite scents, one of my husband's favorite scents that I wear, um, but I got this one on Amazon because it was so much cheaper. I know that sometimes they're not like the real thing. I feel like this one is. I paid $62 um, for the 1.7 ounce, I believe it is. No, it's the 3.3 ounce, excuse me. 3.3 ounce I paid um, $62 for. Otherwise you can pay like 80 bucks and get like a six ounce, which I didn't realize until afterwards. I got that for a perfume for vacation. And then I stocked up on sunscreen. Um, this is my go-to, the sport. Um, Reef Conscious Formula is my go-to. I don't know if it is um, a mineral sunscreen. I just, this has always been my go-to. And I, my, um, my, uh, my esthetician, the lady who does my facials said that usually if it says Reef Conscious Formula, it is um, a mineral sunscreen. But I'm not seeing now that I look at it, I'm not seeing the ingredients that she typically recommends, so I don't know. Anyway, there, I got that one, and then I also have my kids. I bought this in a two-pack at the beginning of the summer. Again, it says Reef Conscious Formula, but I don't see the ingredients that she recommended, so we're just gonna use them up. That's what I got. I'm also bringing my Liquid IV with, just in case I have a couple of drinks, and my Liquid IV um, Energy. I will leave a link down below for you guys because I always have a coupon code um, for Liquid IV, so I'll leave that link down below for you. Okay, so some of the other things I picked up for vacation, um, I was at Sam's Club and I found these cute active shorts for like $4.98. Um, so I grabbed Kaya a couple of pairs. I got this like cute purpley um, palm one. And then I grabbed a cute little tie-dye pair. Again, they were $4.98 a piece at Sam's Club. Super good deal. And then I also grabbed, um, we went to Shields and I'll show you what Mike got. But we grabbed a few things um, for outfits because the outfit I had planned for the rehearsal brunch that we're going to um, was way too big for me now because of my weight loss stuff. So I had to go find a new outfit, but um, I grabbed Riker a new pair of swim trunks when I was at Shields. These were $14.99. Um, again, everything will be linked down below if I can find it. Um, the brand on these are in gear and it's the same as his little cactus ones. I love them. Um, Kaya's suit kind of matches and that was not planned at all. Um, this is Kaya's suit. I did share this in another video, but this one is from Target and is the art class brand. Um, and I love it because it has long sleeves, so it's a nice rash guard. Um, but this is Kaya's suit for vacation. Um, and then Mike grabbed a new pair of swim trunks. He grabbed um, a pair of chubbies um, from Shields and they kind of match the kids' swimsuits, which I think are so cute. Um, I believe this is the seven inch inseam, um, but they've got like floral with like little toucans on them and stuff. Um, but we got these from Shields as well. I'll link them down below if you're looking for a good pair of some trunks for your significant other. So anyway, suitcases down here on the floor. This is what we like to do. We are early packers, not last minute packers. I like to make a list, have the suitcases out, and if there's anything that we're not going to need, I usually plan um, packing and start packing two weeks before we go on any vacation that is about a week um, just because it gives us time to 
throw things in the suitcase and set aside that are specifically for vacation. For example, when we went to Mexico, it was really nice because we were able to put like our waterproof phone cases in there and able to put like our snorkel gear and our towels and like the miscellaneous things that we were buying in Amazon Priming specifically for Mexico, we were able to put in the suitcases that were sitting open. Um, starting out, I have my dress outfits already starting to be packed. Um, I got this cute pair of dress shorts from Shields of like all places. Like I also picked up this crop top, which I fell in love with so much that I went back and I bought three more. Um, this one is a little bit different than what I'm wearing. This is like a, um, here's the back. Here's the color, and if I hold it up close, you can see it's just like a little bit textured. Um, really cute, the camera's making it. There we go, that's a little bit more of the color that it is. It's like a, I'd say it's like a dark nude is what I would compare the color to. Um, I also purchased it in an olive green, um, which I've obviously worn, but I set aside so I could show you guys. Um, this is the same style as this black one I'm wearing, um, but I love it so much. And then I also bought I think it's in the wash right now because I decided to wear that one too, but it's just like this one, this olive green one, um, but it is like a light tan. <laughs> that one's definitely nude. I also have my dress for the wedding in here. Her colors are a super light nude color and then like eucalyptus greens. And I, since we're doing family photos, her sister, my other sister-in-law is in the wedding. I wanted to try and match as close as I possibly could and then that way too when I, if I have to like coax the kids down the aisle I kind of am the same color as the wedding party but not quite I wanted to blend with the rest of them so I just think like when you're taking pictures etc it just looks nicer um, if you have your family dress in similar colors so I talked it over with my sister-in-law and sent her this dress I love this dress so much it's it's beautiful it's beautiful if I can find a picture of it I will put it right here because I don't feel like trying it on right now but it is gorgeous if I muster up the energy here in a little bit to try it on I will um, I will obviously have pictures of it posted over on Instagram um, once we go to the wedding but I get all of my um, formal wear dresses from Baltic Born. Bought two pairs of Target shorts, which I will have pictured here. They're, they're the athletic all-in-motion brand. I got those in a size large, and for reference, I am 5'10", 185 pounds. These are the, I think they're like Ibby Libby, something, something like that. Um, let's see if there's a... A Nikki Bicky. Nikki Bicky is the brand, um, and I will have them linked down below. Again, I got these from Shields of all places, um, and they are one size, and I feel like they're so flattering and they're so comfortable. All right, now if you are flying, I understand if you don't want to make this a priority, but um, since we're driving, I'm not as concerned about it. I did bring these to Mexico as well, but um, I, for my shampoo and conditioner, I usually use Biolage, but I like those little travel size bottles are never enough for me because I just use massive amounts of conditioner. And if we're gonna be sweating and out in the hot, I feel like I'm gonna be showering a little bit more. So I packed my travel set of shampoo and conditioner. I get the Maui Moisture Hair Care. Um, this is just from Target. Um, and this one is the, uh, <laughs> um, this is for dry damaged hair. And it's like a shea butter is what it's called but it smells delicious. Like my husband used this when we were in Mexico and he said, get this all the time, which I would, but I'm I'm like addicted to my biolage. So anyway, we just use it for when we go on vacation or if we're going to the lake for the weekend, love it. But I would pack a bigger, like a, not quite big, 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 but something medium sized if you're going on a week plus long vacation, um, especially if you're going to use it on the kids as well. I usually just use, whatever I have with for the kids. And then I'll also pack like a generic body wash that all of us can use too, instead of pack over packing. I forgot the swim diapers. We packed swim diapers for Riker as well. I just grabbed a smaller pack. I grabbed the little swimmers by Huggies. And then every road trip always, always requires more than just books, but magazines, okay? So I grabbed, um, going back to my teenage years again here, I grabbed a Cosmo because it's just always been my go-to magazine. And then I also grabbed, um, it's like a ma magazine mixed with like a journal. Um, it's called the Mindfulness Journal. Found it at Target. I thought it was so cute. It has like 
it's like a summer version but it's got like some articles in it but then it also has like some like prompts like what is your favorite song or piece of music how do you feel when you hear it just like all of these things that bring you into the present moment i think that has been like my thing this summer so far is learning how to live in the moment and to slow down a little bit and to absorb as much as i possibly can i also grabbed a ton of new things for the road trip as well like clothes um good in not good not good good fellow good fellow i think is what it's called that's the brand at target that he really likes we literally grabbed on like 10 shirts um and like a nice button up and things like that so if you're looking for a good like cheap brand um good fellow is amazing we love it again don't mind my messy bedroom in the background um another essential for us when we're going on vacation is activities in the car even though we're driving at night there's going to be a ton of other driving and then the kids will probably be a little bit more worked up um as much as we would like them to go to sleep right away um as soon as we get in the car that's not going to be the case so um we're bringing the nintendo switch with and i grabbed this case i don't know if anybody else has a switch i am gaming nerd so this is the case that we got it was just like a black um normal case oh that's so weird to like see myself filming in the mirror um just like a normal case it was like 17 18 dollars at target and then it has this little part that flips up if i can show you okay this part flips up the switch isn't in here right now you guys saw it downstairs um and then it came with two cases for games there's plenty of room for the games that we plan on bringing all of the mario things because that's what kaya loves and zelda she loves zelda and harvest moon luigi's mansion mario kart you know all the good things this one's gonna sound kind of goofy but um our apple tv we plan on bringing our apple tv with um that way we can just plug it straight into the hotel room TV. We bring the HDMI cord with and everything, pack it up, we bring the remote with, we set it up on the same Wi-Fi, um, and then that way we're able to access all of the movies and things like that that we have at home. So when the kids are winding down to go to bed, we can still play them their favorite movies and shows and things like that to keep them occupied or help them to wind down from the day. That is one of my biggest tips. That or like if you are going on vacation with your significant other, I'd consider bringing an Apple TV with if you're going out of the country because a lot of times they don't have Netflix and things like that. I've been to some hotels where they do have Hulu, Netflix, like all the good things already on the TV. I've been to hotels where they do not have it. So I'm going to bring this with just in case because sometimes having a slower morning is nice and being able to like lay in bed, watch a little bit of Netflix and just like chill is super, super nice. We're going to get to the main portion of this video, which is snacks. I, I know that I'm not completely done packing yet. Um, I will in another vlog go over like the final stuff that i packed but um like i said i've got like sunscreen so far i'll probably pack a couple of towels um and then i'm also going to go through my list with you guys to share some of the things right now that i don't have packed yet but this is the main portion of the video where i get to the snacks and the activities i already shared the switch and then um we do bring kaya's ipad with because that's really nice for the car she was playing it when she was eating yogurt, so I need to clean it off. I'll leave this case linked down below though because it is awesome. I also ordered her some Bluetooth like wireless um, headphones that she can use in the car. She likes to blast her like games on high, which can be super annoying when you're in the car for that long. Um, and then I also packed with the kids' wedding outfits. Mike has his tux. Um, and then for Mike and I, we just pack like hiking gear shorts um tanks things like that same with the kids we do the like just like the general summertime outfits um now for hikes we are not going on anything with any like cliff faces if you will because i am paranoid about that and like kaya just falling over the edge of the cliff because she's literally the klutziest girl in the entire world so we're not going to be doing any of that but um the hikes that we are going on are more so flat but i don't trust Riker yet and it's not necessarily stroller friendly so we are bringing um i believe it's a tula baby it is in our camper it's a black tula baby i'll leave a picture of it right here for you guys so you know what it looks like um i believe it's good to like 40 pounds and Riker's like 30 32 um but you can wear it on your back and put um, your toddler in there so that way they're not running all over the place if you're in a 
um, stroller unfriendly area. Um, and then downstairs is where I have been hiding the snacks. Snacks buy them ahead of time at Walmart or Target or grocery store, whatever, or Sam's Club, wherever you go grocery shopping, buy them ahead of time because it saves you so much money on gas station stops. I can't even tell you, like so much money in one gas station stop. It could be like 40 plus dollars if you're getting like snacks for everybody and drinks for everybody and maybe a little bit of food, etc. Like this is a lifesaver. So I'm gonna bring you through all of the snacks and like what our setup looks like. Um, because for me, it's like one of the most important parts of the road trip are the snacks because I will tell you it has saved us many, many, many times when you pull out a thing of fruit snacks or whatever it may be. The first thing I have is in a sealed bag, grocery bag in the fridge. It's Monday right now. We're leaving technically on Friday um, for our vacation. So I have it tied up, but I have, let's see if I can get the bag open just enough. Um, okay. I bought a multi-pack of Lunchables from Sam's Club and the Ham and Cheddar and the Turkey and American. And then I also grabbed a few of these from Walmart. Um, these are the Prosciutto wrapped mozzarella cheese sticks. Um, Mike and I love these. And then I also grabbed the kids, um, the caramel apple dip trays. I was gonna get them something without dip. I don't really know what I was thinking, but um, some kind of sliced fruit is essential. Um, they could definitely go without the caramel, but um, we love these too. They're like a dollar each at Walmart. And then I also, if you can see in the back of the bag, I've got some Uncrustable PBJs in here, um, just in case the kids are hungry for like a quick lunch. I was thinking more so for like the hiking days, like Mike and I don't really have lunch. We will just kind of snack our way through it and wait for a bigger dinner. Um, so we brought with lunch stuff for the kids. They'll have Lunchables, PBJs, I've got apples. I also have a thing of grapes cut up in the fridge and I have um, blueberries with, and, th and then I'll cut up some strawberries right before we go so that they have fresh fruit and they have like some kind of like sandwich or Lunchable um, for their lunches. The hotel that we're staying at also has a hot breakfast. Um, if I can recommend for you to stay anywhere, there's like no hotel specifically that I like, I don't know, that I prefer, but um, Mike and I always look for something with a hot breakfast, microwave, and a mini fridge in the room so that the kids can heat up snacks or we can reheat leftovers. It saves you so much money in the end. And like, I know like if you're going on vacation, YOLO, but also I like to just be as frugal as I possibly can. It's just in my nature. Um, but the hot breakfast, if you have it at like 9, 10 AM for Mike and I, that will hold us over until dinner. We might have a snack in between, um, but that will typically hold us over. Um, and then for the kids, it's so nice because then they can like refill on their foods. And then we can also grab like a couple of bananas or like muffins from the hot breakfast area to bring with us for snacks on the road or for hiking, etc. Okay, so here in the entryway, <laughs> this is where I've been staging all of our um, like drinks to go in the cooler. I have a pull-ups box that I need to toss out, but um, for our drinks, I have a thing of White Monster. My sister is coming with us to help watch the kids, and this is her favorite. So I am planning on bringing this with, oh, my, re my recycling pile. Real mom life. This goes out to the garage um, and shoes everywhere from Kaya trying to find her shoes this morning. But anyways, my sister loves white monster. So we got her a four pack again at Walmart. This was like, what was this? Like $6. Um, sometimes with the energy drinks, I feel like it doesn't save you that much money just because sometimes when you get to the gas stations, it's like buy two, get one free. So it could be like $5 for three of them, but um, easier just so that we don't have to go in and out of as many gas stations. I also got uh, Mike's, Mike and I's go-to, like when we're going on any kind of road trip, if it's like even to the cities to go visit my parents, we always pick up sugar-free Red Bull. This is a 10 pack, um, or wait, 12? It's 12. It's a 12 pack of Red Bull. Um, hopefully we don't go through all of this, but it's nice to know that there are six days worth of Red Bulls in here, one for each, like Mike and I, and I hope that this will be enough, but we just go a little crazy when we're on road trips and we need all of the energy to keep up with the kids. <laughs> um, and then I grabbed Capri Sun from Sam's Club. This was from Walmart, by the way, and so was this. Um, I got this from Sam's. 
because when I went to Walmart, they had one thing of Capri Sun left. That, that was it. Um, usually I try to get like the, I think it's like a sugar-free Kool-Aid is what I get, but this is all they had left. There's nothing, nothing on the shelves. So I got one pack when I was at Walmart. And then I went to Sam's Club and I found one, one of these left on their shelves. And this is a four pack for $6.98 of Capri Sun. So this will go in the cooler. All of this will go in the cooler. We have a separator going into the Yeti cooler that we have, um, which you can kind of see over here. It's the navy blue thing right there right there there it is that's our navy blue hard case it's our tundra hauler um and we have a divider that goes in the middle one side can be for drinks and then the other side can be for food i also picked up some unsweetened black iced tea for uh, mike and i we love this like i said sugar free so it, and it has caffeine in it but not a ton so we don't have to drink a ton of these. Um, I got um, these for us to have as drinks. I also got a case of water bottles, which is currently in the back of the vehicle, but all of this will go into the cooler. I also splurged a little bit on some shoes. I broke them in on Friday night um, just to make sure that they were gonna be comfortable for the wedding, um, but I'm going to wear them for both brunch and for the wedding, the rehearsal brunch and the wedding. Um, I got the Steve Madden sandals, like with the crystals on them. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. These were a little bit more of a splurge. I believe that they're like $79 on the Steve Madden site. Um, but I will link them down below because you can get a ton of coupon codes for them. And I've seen them at, um, or I heard that somebody has seen them at TJ Maxx now, um, but they're the same price as if you were to buy them with your coupon code. And I did use a coupon code, so these were more so like 59 or 55 bucks, 55, something like that. Um, but I love them. They're so comfortable. You'd think like the, this brings me back to like my jelly shoes days, like when I was younger. Um, but they're definitely not uncomfortable like the jelly shoes are. These are so comfortable and they're flexible and I love them. And they're so pretty, they're beautiful on. Okay, we are in the basement, so it's dark. And Charlie's coming to say hello. This is his, um, this is his palace down here. But this is like a grocery getter thing from Sam's Club that my mother-in-law gave me, and it is full of snacks. It's so full. Here's like some of the garbage that I have left over from this morning, emptying it all out. So I'm gonna go through everything with you guys now. I'm gonna go through everything with you guys and show you what I got. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. Okay, the lighting is not great because again, I'm in my basement and there's like no lights, but um, in here now when I get stuff for like road trips and vacations, I try to, so food is kind of a distraction in this case and I'll totally admit that I am that mom that when you're on a road trip and your kids are panicking and freaking out because they're just tired of the vehicle, sometimes when you just pull out their favorite snack, it solves everything. And <laughs> I am totally not going to deny that I am that mom, but Anyway, oh, those stinkers. Okay, so in here I have like the treats of all treats. I'm not saying that any of this is healthy, I'm not claiming that it is. This is a vacation as much for the kids as much as it is for Mike and I and for my sister. So I want to make sure that I, like, I remember from my, my childhood, my parents, when we would go on vacation, they would buy us our favorite snacks, our favorite foods, and it just made everything so much better and I want to do the same thing for my kids so some of the things that we don't typically keep in the house I like to splurge on and bring with on vacation because it makes it that much more fun for them so anyways I bought a ton of multi-packs a lot of this is from Walmart some of this is from Target I grabbed I did grab a couple bags of goldfish I see that one is missing so the kids have gotten to this snack stash already um, but I got some goldfish I have two boxes of Cheez-Its. I have a regular Cheez-Its box. Then I also have a white cheddar. White cheddar is Mike's favorite. Um, and then I grabbed a pack of white cheddar Skinny Pop, um, a pack of Pringles, and then I grabbed like a multi-pack first before I got the Cheez-Its and the Pringles separately. Um, I got like a multi-pack that has Cheez-Its, Pringles, and it even came with so random it like came with rice krispies too um but it wasn't a, it wasn't enough now we're going to be using this for lunches for snacks on the way there snacks on the way back but also for snacks for like in the hotel room so that's why i wanted to make sure that there was plenty in here um at target they have a sale it's three for six for the fresh stacks for the ritz 
um, and I believe that just started on Sunday, but um, I grabbed a ton of these Ritz little stacks, um, and then um, to go with that, I grabbed squeezed cheese. I've talked about this before, but like my like disgusting junk food love is squeezed cheese. Don't ask. It's it just is. <laughs> so that goes with the crackers. I actually I did get a pack of gushers from Sam's Club because the kids picked it out as their treat when we went grocery shopping last time, and I just saved it for the road trip. So we have gushers. Um, I picked up. Oh yes. Oh, I lied. Okay, these are also from Sam's Club. I got um, some Slim Jims. It was 20 bucks for like a huge pack of them um, versus like buying, let's see, there are going to be one, two, three, four, five of us in the vehicle. If we got a beef stick for every person, every time we went to a gas station, that's like probably $10 worth of beef sticks every time we go to a gas station. So I spent 20 bucks and got a huge pack of beef sticks. I mean like gigantic pack of beef sticks and that'll be good for the whole trip. Um, I also grabbed these little snack containers from Target so that if the kids want like Cheez-Its from the box, I'm able to um, stick them in here for them. I also grabbed Pop-Tart Bites for a quick breakfast. I was more so thinking on the morning um, that we're like arriving to our destination. That way they could have, I'm not claiming they're healthy, but this is like one of their favorite like treat breakfasts. So I grabbed the brown sugar cinnamon pop tart bites. I also grabbed a multi-pack of, it has like Oreos and Chips Ahoy and things like that. Mike got into them, so I had to purchase separate bags. Again, these will go into those little snack containers. I've got mini Chips Ahoy, um, Oreo minis, and another mini Chips Ahoy. Um, again, because Mike, Mike goes through them faster than the kids, I swear. In um, the multi-pack, I also got Teddy Grahams. I mean, this is just like the ultimate like snack mix. I, I would have loved this as a kid. I'm gonna eat one of these beef sticks. Um, fruit snacks, I got a package of those, like a big box of those um, from Target. And then <laughs> squeeze cheese. I grabbed Dots pretzels. I grabbed two bags of beef jerky. Old Trapper is our favorite. Um, I have Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I love these, and so does my sister. Funyuns, Kaya loves these, and so does my sister. I have Cool Ranch Doritos that Kaya picked out. We've got Gummy Worms, and we've got Sour Patch Kids. Picked up Kit Kats. This is $1.98 for this huge thing. And I also got White Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Okay, so now we're out in the actual car. It is hot, hot. Um, but I wanted to share a couple of things that I got. My camera lens is literally fucking up. Okay, hang on. Okay, we'll see if that lasts long. Wanted to share a couple of things that I do to get the vehicle ready to go for road trips. This is almost one of, I would say this is probably like the most important thing besides like your clothes and stuff. Get your vehicle ready. If you're going on a long road trip and you're gonna be in the car for a long time over the like course of the entire like vacation. Oh my God, I'm sorry, it's so hot out here. Blah. Um, and get your vehicle ready because this is really gonna be your home for the next little while. So that's exactly what I did. Um, I went to Target, I grabbed a few things just to make it a little bit more comfortable in here. Finally picked up like a phone holder. This is like a normal like vent phone holder. Um, and has like a magnetic thing on it so it can hold your phone. Um, that way you can like change music or I don't know, we don't use our phones like directly a ton just because we have Apple CarPlay in our vehicle, but um, anyways, it is nice to just like be able to set it up um, in case we've got two separate things of directions going on. For example, I'll have my phone hooked up to the GPS in the car on the Apple CarPlay for like our final destination, but if we're looking something up to eat, uh, like on our way there for like a dinner or something or like a breakfast, etc., um, Mike will put on <clears throat> like a gas station. That's another one that we do. Um, Mike will put separate directions on his phone so that we know like the general route that we're on, but also like the specific one that we're trying to get to the gas station for. So. Um, that's just like one way that we use um, two phones at once, I guess you could say. But um, I also grabbed, um, let's see, I cleaned out my center console. That's important. Um, I always have puffs in the car. I know that Riker is like not a crawling baby anymore, but he loves these. So I just, I still get them. 
um, inside of my center console. Um, if you guys are wondering, this is the kind of car freshener scent that I use. It's the Supernova. And yeah, it smells really good. I usually hook it to like my emergency brake. Um, I try not to put it on my um, rear view mirror. And then I also grabbed Kleenexes because anybody else's kids do this. Kaya will literally sit in the back seat and just start blowing her nose, like obnoxiously blowing her nose. And I'm like, a tissue would be nice, a tissue. So I got a giant pack of tissues, travel tissues for the kids to use. Um, and then I also like keep a ton of, I'm one of those like moms that keeps all of the gas station and like fast food restaurant napkins. All of that extra stuff goes into the glove department. If I had room in my center console, I'd keep them in there. But um, I also keep extra utensils from like fast food places in my um, glove department. But yes. Okay. So moving on to the vehicle itself. Um, actually, wait. Hand sanitizer also. Okay. That's from Ulta. It's pineapple flavored. It's so good. Anywho. So in the vehicle itself, um, I just deep cleaned it. I'm probably going to need to give it a good once over one more time before we go. But I take my vehicle to the car wash. Let me show you some footage I took earlier today. Um, I usually go through the car wash once a week. Last week I deep cleaned it so I didn't sh bring you guys along for that. But I will show you exactly what I do in this little clip that I took this morning. Don't forget the car wash. So important. After the car wash I make sure that I take advantage of the vacuum and I clean out the entire vehicle. I also have cleaner which I also take advantage of. I'll show you here in just a second. Ever since you came around I've never been sober. Always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low. Went from just talking. Okay, so I'm done vacuuming the vehicle now. Usually what I will do is I will go and take, they've got these black microfiber cloths, which I'll show you. These. And then you take the cleaner that they have. And then you take the cleaner that they have that are that is sitting over on the cart. And then I will clean down my entire vehicle. But I just did that last week, so I don't need to do it until like last minute before I leave for this vacation. So in a nutshell, real quick, we're leaving for the 4th of July weekend and we're gonna like go to the cabin and then we are back for one day just during the day. So Sunday we come back and then we leave Monday night. Okay, so we're like back for 24 hours. So I'm gonna quick vacuum up the vehicle again. I'll wipe everything down at that time for the final time. But just to show you guys what I do to get ready in the vehicle for a road trip, that is what I do. Run it through the car wash, I vacuum the entire thing out, and then I will go and grab the microfiber cloths and the, it's like a pink spray um, that you can use on the upholstery, you can use on the windows, it's an all-purpose cleaner, and it works really, really well for getting stains out of my seats and everything. I will dive into that um, once I get back um, in a cleaning video to show you guys exactly what I do to get stains out of my seats because it is, it is quite the life hack and I absolutely love that I can keep my vehicle looking like it's brand new. So this is not just road trip related, but in general, <laughs> these are so nice for the vehicle. We got this off of Amazon, I believe. Look at, there's already a puff on the floor. Shoot, I just vacuumed. Anyway, um, this is the, it goes, it's a mat that goes all the way across. You use this instead of like the like general car mats. Um, they're like they're all rubberized because you can pressure wash them and they're amazing. In the back pockets, I always have some kind of toys or books or something for the kids. So I've got some on this side, some on this side, and then in the middle here, um, I will put like a, oh, I need to shampoo this spot again. Just shampooed it last week. But as you can see, there are some spots that need to be touched up. But I just like to make every, make sure everything is like nice and clean before we go. Um, right here, I will probably have some kind of like basket of toys and things for the kids to access. Um, and then back here, the way that we're going to have this set up is um, this is two separate sections. We're going to have this seat up for my sister to sit in. She'll have her own space. This will be down. Back against this seat is going to be the hard cooler and the snacks so that my sister can easily grab them and distribute them as needed. I need to clean the car seats before I go. That's another essential. I just like to take the tops or like the um, covers off 
and then I just wash them on like regular in my um, washer and dryer but anyway so then we'll have like snacks and like um, drinks back here I will share the final setup like I said once we get closer to leaving I will share some clips in a, another vlog of what that setup looks like okay so things are moved around because I vacuumed in here this morning but these are a couple of trays that I picked up from the Target dollar spot the general whatever the bullseye spot um, I believe these were five dollars maybe the stickers are still on them five dollars yes um, they're a lap desk they're a little small to go over the car seat but they are just big enough where the kids can make it work I got one for Kaya one for Riker so they can use it for eating and for coloring or whatever they wish here is that case of water bottles I was talking about and some things I need to bring inside but I always I always keep a sketchbook in the car too for Kai because she's always asking to color but anyways that's the general setup of like what I do for cleaning um, and then these lap desks I've been keeping in here until we leave um, for like activities and things it's so nice it has like um, a cup holder a place for like crayons or whatever markers um, and then it has like a general like bigger bin like this so you could even stick a coloring book in there um, but I think it's gonna be really nice for like snacks and stuff as well so that they're not like falling all over their laps total side note but aren't my petunias looking so pretty <gasps> also um, my fiddle leaf fig is thriving out here and she has a new leaf coming in I can't tell you how excited I am about that because she's been surviving and not thriving for the past six months so we're happy with that my bird of paradise is also very happy out here. Um, my monstie got a little sunburned on some of her leaves, but she has a new leaf coming up here. All the plants are in general very happy outside right now. I also picked up a new pair of these like croc type of shoe things for Riker for walking around and hiking. I hope that he doesn't get blisters from them. I'm gonna bring socks with just in case. Um, usually I let them go barefoot in those. They're kind of like the native shoes, but I found them at Target. They were $9.99. He has a pair of Crocs as well, but I just thought that those would be nicer for like when we go on our like more hikey type things. Um, and I will leave those linked down below for you guys as well because he loves them, loves them, prefers them over his regular Crocs. Okay, it is hot outside. It is very hot outside. I am going to wrap up the video there for today. I hope you enjoyed this very long road trip essentials haul part one, I guess you could say, because there are a ton more things that I need to show you guys. So I'm going to leave you guys there for today, like I said. Um, I will have a part two to this video. I just wanted, I knew that this was going to be a longer series, but if you guys are anything like me and like, you enjoy planning the trips or you like pre-planning to make it a little bit easier um, I hope that you guys find this video interesting or helpful um, but this is what I do to prep for a road trip okay hence all of the extra snacks usually when we're going on vacation even if it's just to the lake cabin for the week I don't get that many snacks but being in the car for that long just elicits a little bit more of a snacky atmosphere if you will um and food is a good distraction um when i start to pack up the kids toys and the coloring books and things like that i will share that in my next vlog because i won't be packing until closer to thursday um because i want to pack some of the things that the kids use on a day-to-day -day basis so i'll wait until closer to thursday or friday to share those things in another video so be on the lookout for that i have a ton more vlogs coming we just got through our busiest busiest week for M&M Rustics so things will start to lighten up a lot here for me and I will be able to make my videos that's like where I've been is M&M Rustics has just been insane and I have had to be hands-on my mom came to watch the kids so that we could make these orders happen just absolute insanity and this vacation is well well needed but it does take quite a bit of planning as you guys know to like get ready for a vacation um and then on a final note i just wanted to share hang on a second here um some of our packing list so phone charger i have a multi-charger um coming in from Amazon that I ordered it was like $29 and it charges your phone your airpods and your Apple watch all at the same time 
amazing. I will do a final overview of our packing situation, our packing job and what the vehicle looks like once we get closer to it on Friday. So, all right, you guys, I'm gonna leave you there and I'll see you in probably a few days. I would say probably like Saturday or Sunday or Monday for the part two um, to that packing video. Okay, bye guys.